Oh, hi there, and uh, welcome to this new build. We are building the XV01 chassis, and uh, this is going to be the La Lancia Delta Integrale, um, very, very famous uh, rally car indeed. So let's get inside this lovely model um, that has been provided to me by the fabulous RC Elf. Uh, you know who you are, thank you again. So let's take a look, step one, and the components that we need. And a lot is going on here in step one. Um, so components bag A is what we have open. And all the parts here that we need to make two of these differential gears. Um, these are filled with some of the silicon damper oil. So in this case, the kit version is this silicon damper oil here, which is quite hard, I think. Um, probably be tunable. And um, I've got together all the components. So the, the GV1 and the GV2s, which are those there. I've also got together all the components, the um, the actual differential gear, the BA20s, the BA22s, the little shims, the little pins, and uh, yeah, I've got all the little screws here as well, and yeah, and even the little gaskets and everything like that. So, and the bearings, of course, these nice big bearings, these 1510 bearings, and these little urethane things that go inside. So as you can see here, this is the components. So you can see the screws that I mentioned here. You've got uh, the BA5 screws, which are here. Um, these are the two by eight millimeter self-tapping screws. We've got the um, shims, the five by 10 shims, which is these guys over here. Uh, we've got the bearings, which are these big 1510 bearings. Uh, we've got the uh, little shafts, which are those little guys there. Um, they are the uh, 1.6 by eight millimeter shafts. Uh, we've also got the BA20s, which are these guys here. Uh, I'll bring the camera down that way. There you go. You can see that. Um, we've also got the um, O-rings, BA22s. Uh, Those are the uh, O-rings, 5mm O-rings, and the urethane bushings, which are these guys here. And yeah, we've got plenty to put together onto the uh, differentials. And you can see here, wow, look at this. It's a busy step straight away oh, i like the challenge here this is uh very good indeed um right so i'm going to put one together and then i'll show you how to do uh, the other one so this is what we're looking to make we're looking to make one of these as you can see i've made one up already um so let me show you how we get to this so take our ba25 and we take one of the little BA22s, the little O-rings, pop that into the bottom. We take one of our BA20s and we bring that up from the bottom. And we also need to make sure that the little O-ring goes over the top. Okay. And then we take one of your shims, your BA8 shims, the five, uh, five by 10 by 0.3 millimeter. And we're looking to to pop that over the top of the shaft that we just put up from underneath and the little rubber o-ring so we need to sort of slot that in get it over the top and push it down so now you need to just use something just to put that down so the idea is you want to get this below the hole there's a there's a hole so if i show you on this one there's a hole here See where the pin goes through. So as that went up through. So we're going to take one of our little BA16 pins and we need to find the hole. And this is quite fiddly, this bit. I'm surprised that Tamiya has done it this way, but it's the way I have, it's the way it is. So I'm using a pair of tweezers because there's no way I will get my fingers in here and trying to get this in the hole. There we go, I think I found the hole. So now I found the hole, I just need to pop that through. There we go, there we are. Now that catched on camera, you can just see that now through. So we, now we've got that bit. We now want to take our one of our gears, our GV2. And with these, just in the manual here, it just shows you to shave off any of the off cuts. So, this GV2, we're going to pop this over the top, and you can see on the GV2, 
the little bar goes in here. I don't know if the camera can pick that out. So you want to pop that over the top and you want to locate, there you go, you can just feel it, you just want to locate that so, th so that spins now. Okay, now you've got that, we need to move on to this part which is the top and we technically repeat it again. So we're popping this through, the BA20 through, taking one of the rubber seals and sealing that down, taking one of the shims and putting that over the top, taking one of the pins and find them the hole. There we go. And then it comes through the other side like so. He says. There you go. Right. So now we've got that side. So that's this one done. It's the top section. Now for the fun part. This is where we take our GV1s and our GV3. Pop these on. So this is the equivalent of the uh, like a star shaft um, with the planetary gears. There you go. Now that goes inside here, like so. There we are. Just see it a little moving, just enough. There we are. Now we take our silicon oil and we fill it and we're filling it so it comes up to the GV3 so the the star shaft so this is quite thick here so I find this makes it quite um quite stiff this differential so pop a bit in I'm just giving that a little move around so it goes in and then I'm just giving it a little check to see how much oil, how much of this oil is in there. I think a little bit more is needed. It's quite thick, this. Do you know what? I think that's probably somewhere near. Just pop that down. Yeah, you can just see, you can just see the edges here. You can see the oil level. It's just, it's just coming over the top of this star shaft. So now we've done that. We need another one of the GV2s, which you place on top, like so. Okay, and I try to get the little pin horizontal or whatever so you know where it is, because you now got to take your gasket and you've got to line up your gasket so the holes, etc., are correct. And then you need to. Oh, and you just see there, I've just jiggled that out, that little star pin out again. <laughs> little tyke, get back in. Right, so there we go. So pull a bit of pressure downwards, and that might just help keep the pin um, in place. So you now want to put this over the top and line the pin up with the um, counter gear that's inside. Jerk, jerk, jiggle, he says. There we are. He says, I think. Maybe not. No. Try 90 degrees. No, that's better. There we are. That's better. So now that's in place, you then take these little screws. These are the uh, little BA5, the 2x8, and you take the small hex driver and you screw those into place. And I'll do them in opposing so that they are squared as they go down, it screws down square. So I'll just put them in loosely to begin with and then I talk, then I talk them down. Excuse me, my little fat hands as I get in front of the camera. There we go. 
So now you see that oil is inside and the O-rings are keeping the oil inside. And we're talking this down. You've got this gasket on this side that keeps it nice and thing. So now just talking that up until it stops. I'm not going too mad, it's only small screws. There we go, so it's talked in. So I'm just gonna go around it again. With a torque, and I'm, and I'm just literally my fingers. I'm using my fingers. I'm really not leaning on this too hard. I can I can hear like a couple of. That's, you can hear it's talked up. That's fine. That's fine. So yeah, there we go. That's runs. So it's a case of now. Pop your big fifteen ten bearings over the top, like that. Like that, and then take your urethane bushes, pop them in the middle. You want them to be square, so there we go, like that. Make sure it's down, make sure it's square. There we go, and there you are. That is stage one completed. We now have two of these lovely differentials. We'll